Welcome to this video guys. If I start MySQL and Apache here, as you can see MySQL is not starting and Apache has started. And MySQL is giving this error that says MySQL shut down unexpectedly. This may be due to blocked port or missing dependencies. So to see why actually MySQL is not starting, what you can do is just click on logs here and click on MySQL underscore error dot log. Maximize this, scroll down to see the latest error. Here you'll see this message or something else if this is not the error in your case that says do you already have another mysql server running on port 306 so mm -hmm. this means that this port is already being used and this is the port that is that zamp is trying to use to start our mysql server so if this is also the case in your installation let's see how we can fix this if this is not the error i'll show you another method to fix in just a minute so first what we can do is click on config here click on mine.ini let's maximize this and here below client you will see port 3306 and inside this mysqld section also you will see 3306 now change both of these to 3307 or 3308 or whatever you want save the file by pressing ctrl s close this and click on start again and this time as you can see mysql is running successfully on port 3307 but if i try to open PHP my admin I'll still get an error because PHP my admin will try to connect to port 3306 but we are running this on port 3307 so we will have to change it as you can see we are getting this error so what we'll do is we'll go to our XAMPP installation go inside PHP my admin click on this config.ink.php and you can open this with any editor you want I'll just open with notepad and here here you can see it has this host and connection type tcp just copy this and paste this again and there is no port option here we will add we will remove this and add port and the port will be set to 3307 save it and close it let's try to open this again and this time as you can see creation management has also opened now another method is I'll stop this again go to my XAMPP installation directory go inside my SQL and here you have this data folder first we'll copy this data folder and paste it again so that we have a backup in case we do something wrong now go inside data and we need to delete some files so we can delete my SQL performance phpMyAdmin and test all these four folders and control a to select everything and just click control and then click on this IV data to unselect this and then delete everything else so inside our data folder we only have IV data one now go back to my SQL go inside backup here copy everything again unselect the IV data one file copy this go back and paste this to your data folder so now we have everything again and now you can again try to start your mysql server and this time it should work so this is the two methods two top methods to fix this issue if you have any questions let me know in the comments below